Hey guys, John from SurfFX, and I'm looking at the Schmick, and this is the V4, Mark IV wing from those guys. Uh, and what we have here is pretty much one of the top end wave wings. And it makes it maneuverable, light, quite balanced. Uh, Schmick was always kind of known for that. Their, even their first one was great in the waves. And then they've had a continuation on it further, just making it, you know, really just kind of that positively, you know, neutral feel. So if you're wave riding, you know what I'm talking about. It's where you can kind of just hang off it lightly and the wing just does what you want it to do, not get in the way, but then you've got power on, on tap when you need it. So a few little tweaks that they've done now. Uh, so they continued with their extremely tight canopy. That's always something that Schmick's had, you know, from Scott McCritcher, the designer. His windsurfing days, he knows how to make a sail. And it's just a tight, tight canopy with a floppy leech. So what that is, that is basically the, the power is up here where it's tight and then the wind gets out the back and having that, that floppiness allows it the wind to exit on the wingtips to the trailing edge. And as you get more and more and more power, if you get overpowered situations, uh, that can deflect a little bit more and, uh, and basically dump a bit more wind. Material wise, they changed the materials this year. So you have now have much heavier cloth through the center panel. So all the white basically on this is a, is a heavier weight uh, fabric than they used previously. It's more tear resistant. And of course, you know, it's always nice to have a little bit more resistance when you're in the waves and foiling because you know, you crash into it, put your wingtip through it, your head through it, whatever. Something you can't really see well in the pictures online, but you can here is how they've done the panel layout. So you have, you can see here all these little panels to get the contour right. But within that, the fabric is actually aligned differently. So you've got a, a multi-way ripstop in these, but you've got them twisted in the different sections so that the strength goes from one end to the other. Uh, you can really see that a lot more up the top here where you're, they're really trying to contour and keep it a bit tighter along the strut where it starts becoming looser on the leech as you get out. And you've got different directions in that to aid with that stretch and the strength in that area. So pretty cool to see, you know, it's not just sewn up together, there's really laid out properly. And uh, a lot goes into the design of these to get them just spot on and able to use the higher tech materials like this and the heavier cloth to, uh, to manipulate the, the feel of the wing. So they've made it a little bit flatter. So it's a little bit more aerodynamic, a little bit less drag. So it's got a bit more top end and more speed that way. So, you know, it's always nice to have a bit more speed, but having that less drag, especially when you're flying off the front handle um, is, is nice to have. Cause it just, again, for the waves, especially it allows the wing to kind of disappear. So it's not so uh, predominant and you can concentrate on your surfing. If you've seen any of the pro tour stuff, uh, some of the recent th footage they've had um, like overseas at the moment, nuts. The guys are just absolutely killing it in the waves. Like uh, <laughs> the next level has come very fast in wing foiling in the surf. So we'll have a little look and we'll flip it over and check out the other side. Cause this is something else we want to talk about. That's the handles. So quick flip it over and here we go. So we've got different handles. Uh, this year they've gone to a carbon handle. So it's lightweight, stiff. They have changed the placement of the handles a bit from previous years. So they have the, the uh, front handle a little bit more further forward, the back handle a little bit further back. Um, just gets you that, especially in overpowered conditions, you can reach back, but you still can, uh, it's still far enough. The front handle's still long enough where you can reach it and fly uh, pretty comfortably kind of one-handed. Again, being a good wave kite, they've got a really solid, very secure front handle. Um, it's, you're able to twist it and get a response on it. And you've got a big, fat, thick neoprene rubber knuckle guard there. So you're not just going to chew up your knuckles on the, on the nylon, because it can be a bit scratchy. Uh, if you've fallen on these uh, and dragged yourself along with all the seams and stuff, it can uh, leave a mark. So that's nice to have that all smooth on your knuckles when you're holding it nice and easy typical stuff that are on all the wings now. You've got decent fat hoses to inflate, deflate. You've got pressure ratings on there. Uh, these guys obviously have the two hoses on the strut just to get the air in and to get the air out quickly. But really just kind of working on a few things. So, you know, 
these guys are constantly working. Most of the development for these is happening in, in Western Australia. Uh, lots of wind, lots of surf, uh, durability testing out there. You know, the beaches aren't exactly, you know, perfect sandy beaches. Uh, the ozone is a bit thin, so you get some UV degradation. And these are where they test them. So you get to really see how tough your product is when you test over there. Leading edge, multi-segmented. They've got a little bit finer tuning. You can see the segments here with a little bit more reinforcing as well, particularly on the section through here. This is where most wings that we deal with and repair have issues with uh, blowing bladders and stuff. They've got some more reinforcing in that area. Nice little, just nice to start looking after stuff like that, getting that durability side up. You see the segmentation goes down. It allows it to, you know, really get a nice shape, particularly through the front of the wing to try to taper it off. And you can see even here, just it's not super, super deep up in the front, but it is very, very tight. Like, like that is, <laughs> it's almost like the leading edge tension tight in the canopy there, just on how it holds itself together. And Schmicker were some of the first guys to have really tight tension through the canopy to try to manipulate the, uh, the airflow and get the stability of the wings. And this, again, they're just pushing it again and again and again. This is the fourth version, so it keeps getting better. Thank you.